Delicious. Coca Cola. Food of champions. Coca Cola food? Excuse me? Food, yeah. You ever deep fried Coke? No. Absolutely disgusting. That doesn't sound good at all. Yep, it's pretty nasty, gonna be completely honest. <clears throat> Why would someone make that? Uh, county fair. Of course. Like, it's just how it works. I do have to say this, dude. Right now, the game looks fucking prime as shit. Like, the textures on the sword. Just while I'm standing still. Oh, I'm about to die. I have a heart and a half. Never mind. Nice. I have, like, five hearts now. <laughs> I'm good. There are a bunch of keys. They give hearts. Yeah. Like little twilight. Well, there's also little dudes on the ground. Oh, yeah. And, it, and then, and like, there's like a collection of pots where there's just like hearts for days. When are you gonna speed on TP? What's it gonna happen? Uh, when I lose my other eye. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> no. I'll probably, like, I'll probably pick up, uh, any percent just for the hell of it and like try to get like a sub 4 hour or sub 3.30 time or some shit, you know? If you don't cut the Venek, it's like a joke? If I don't what? If you don't cut the Venek, it's a joke? What do you it's mean cut the Venek? Like, my time's like a 3.32 or something. Cause oh. I played it for a little bit and then quit. <laughs> what, any percent? Yeah. <laughs> Even though you're like really fucking good at this game though? <laughs> Yeah, well, I had a run that was like five minutes ahead of it, mm. and then I forgot ending blow, so I just never played the category again. You should totally play the category again, because I feel like you would just absolutely destroy it. I'll do it after 100%. It's so backwards. <laughs> like, it's absolutely backwards compared to what most runners do. But I don't know, hundred percent has everything and any percent has and more, so it's like once I'm done once I'm really good at hundred percent, I'm already like really good at every other category in the game. I mean like I know, I totally get the logic, it's just like I don't know, it's a it's an odd backwards train of thought that you don't see very often because most people use any percent as a chance to learn the techniques before taking on something as ambitious as one hundred percent because it's not just about like performing the tricks at this point and getting a fast run it's about performing the tricks consistently getting a fast run and then enduring the fact that it's going to be quite a long run when i picked up tp i started with 100 percent wow you have balls like you have absolute balls because that is literally like one of the most ambitious things you can do I just like long runs. Uh. I don't know. I like long runs within reason. Um, if it's one of these runs where it's like it has potential to die three hours in very easily, and it's like a five hour run or something, I'm just gonna like cry myself to sleep. <laughs> I think what kills me is like I do the whole Paper Mario glitch list thing, and that run just started to eat me alive, and that's why I haven't run it in fucking forever because. Basically, I just, I couldn't handle it. Like, every time I would get to fucking chapter four and I would be really far ahead of my PB, I would be like half an hour ahead of my PB. And then all of a sudden, just absolute, like, decimation. Just like what happened on stream. I got knocked the fuck over the edge. Oh my god. Nice. I got absolutely destroyed by those birds. But, like, it just, the run eats you alive because chapter four, it's so easy for it to die. And for me, that's like two hours into the run. Dang. Yeah, so it's a uh, it's a pretty ruthless run. Like, cause if you fuck up, dude, you fuck up. Like, mistakes. There are very few backup strats for them outside of like battles and getting encounters makes you lose like 15 to 20 seconds. And so you want to have the minimal amount of counters that or encounters that you can. The hardest part of TP100 is six and a half hours into the run. Six and a half. It's, uh, I lost a run there once, which sucked. How long is the, uh, or how is, uh, how is the world record? Like, what's the time? It's 7.28. Wow. 
Wow. Uh, it can go down. Like, I think it can go sub seven. You think sub seven is possible? With a good run, yeah. Are you gonna get it? Are you gonna grind it out? That's the plan. Damn, dude. No one else is doing it. <laughs> You're gonna grind out a potential sub seven hour run. Yeah. That's. I, I repeat, you have some huge balls. Because, like, that is ambition, my friend. That is, like, straight up ambition. Also, why the fuck does the aura of my sword change from, like, blue to gold constantly? What does it? Yeah, like, it was blue while I was inside the temple. Now that I'm out here, it's gold, and then I go back inside the temple, and it turns fucking blue. I don't know, that's weird. Yeah. Oh. TP hundreds, my baby? Oh, I can tell. Yeah, what's up, Quad? We're just doing some, like, I can't sleep, so let's do some quality <laughs> tests on various consoles and see how they look through component, because wow. Component's kind of an amazing quality option. Like, damn, the bloom effect as you're writing over that fucking little barrier thing. Like, the greens pop so much on stream, and it looks so nice. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. You know what I mean? No. I mean. <laughs> know what you mean? Yet did I mean, yet did I dig. Okay, what? Yes. Are you lost me? Okay, no, like, look, okay. So outside it was gold, right? Alright. Inside the temple, shit's blue. Oh, I guess it is. I think that has to do with the lighting. Like, that's just, that's weird as fuck. God damn it, Link. Stop getting hit by like the dark shit. Come good on. name. What, Gruston? Yeah, it's a good name. Yeah, my chat named it, actually. Nice. Yeah, my chat actually comes up with some really funny names, and that's why I like try to let them name it as often as possible, because more often than not, they come up with something way funnier than I can ever achieve. Of course, sometimes you will just get some people who will recommend that we name the file Fuckboy. So. <laughs> Good file name. <laughs> yeah, you know. Hit and miss. Everybody's hit and miss. I'm hit and miss. <laughs> and quite frankly, the misses are actually pretty fucking hysterical, so. <laughs> wow. Well. Right. Hmm. Not even an LJA on the moving elevator. This kid. Wow, okay. How about you get <laughs> off my case? Jesus. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Jesus, I'm sorry, TP Jesus. TP Jesus. Wow, Palace is my weak point. I'm real bad at that dungeon. That's alright. I'm bad at my own run anyways, so... That's alright. Mario Party 2 is a very unforgiving run, the coaster run. Like it's out. Oh god, I hurt, dude. You know what I found out? You know what I found out the other day? I could have PB'd and actually like broken my uh, sub thirty time and gotten a better one by like three seconds, but I lost time due to really shit text mashing at the end. I lost like two seconds. Wow. So I could have PB'd by a good chunk. Like, well, actually not a good chunk, but like by like two or three seconds. But because my end game text mashing was like super shit, I lost like two full seconds. That's so shitty. Isn't that shitty? Because like I was 1.6 ahead uh, going into world six and I finished that entire world plus 1.6. So I could have PB'd and it would have been a very slight PB, but it would have been a PB. Oh. It it really it really it really fucking burned my poffins, you know what I mean? <laughs> no you mean dude. It just it burned my poffins, grinded my gears. I know the feeling of bad text mashing. It fucking you... popped my souffle, dude. Like all the text in TP is quick text, so how fast you mash is how much time you save. So Oh gotta... boy, so I'd be really good at it then. Yeah. With fucking Mario Party 2, it's like specific frames and a lot of your inputs get eaten when you mash. So if you improperly mash, you end up just losing time because your text boxes go by super slow. 
because it counts multiple inputs that are chained together too fast as one prolonged input. I need to get pallet CP. I think it saves several seconds over normal, over English. Yeah. Like I said, I'll do uh, I'll do some load zone tests for you uh, sometime this week. Yeah. Actually, I should probably just leave this place to go. What other places? Is GameCube region locked? Uh, yeah, it is, unfortunately, and I only know that because I tried to play a PAL copy of uh, Pokemon Coliseum on my, uh, on my GameCube, and it did not work out too well. Oh, oh. Shitty, I'll have to buy a PAL GameCube. <laughs> my god. Yeah, because there's really no way to remove the region lock. I can just use the Wii, but if I want, like, the super quality? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, with the super quality, though, you're going to have to... First off, you're going to have to get a first generate. Oh, you know what? Actually, if you get a GameCube Wii, I think your component cable might end up being slightly cheaper. Get a GameCube? What? Oh, well, you... Um, okay, you're talking about getting a PAL GameCube, right? Yeah. Let me check something. I mean, Let's only see. if GameCube doesn't lose time, though. If it loses time, then I'm just going to have to yeah. run it out. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, if uh, if you do get a PAL GameCube, I want to look into something really quick. Ha 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 ha, that's funny. So apparently uh, the reason why I'm getting this fuzzy quality uh, with my uh, with my Wii upscaling is because the component cables used on the Wii... Oh wow, I flashed over back to my TV and I died. <laughs> nice. A plus, go me. Apparently um, the reason why I'm getting that fuzziness is because the Wii component cables were made with really cheap HD TV threads. Fun. Nice. Loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Oh, wow. So, I think. <sighs> Man. You're going to have to get a freeloader. If you want, if you want component quality, because U.S. Uh, component cables don't work on PAL game cubes, and I do not think there's a. Uh, let's see here. I think the best you're gonna get is a uh, PAL. Yeah. Okay. So you're not gonna be able to get component out of a PAL GameCube. What? That's gross. Um. Well, no, it's not entirely lost. You're going to have access to RGB still. It's just you're going to have to get a crap ton of uh, upscalers and shit like that. Oh boy. Because, uh, or rather, you're going to have to daisy chain it a little bit to get that quality and actually like be able to capture it. Because what's going to happen is um, the uh, PAL native RGB still has like some definition issues, so everything looks a little bit on the soft side. Like, here, I'll just link you the... Uh, the article and you can sift through it. All right. There you go. And so you're going to have access to SCART RGB output, which is going to be 240 and that's not that's not bad. That's not inherently bad as far as quality goes, but uh the digital AV port on the back of the uh of the back of the GameCube is going to be used just for that, the SCART RGB and other than that, you're just going to be kind of like okay, so the European version has a useless digital AV port. That's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> nice. Oh, no, never mind. Wow. Okay, so, yeah, they have a useless port there. Yeah, the modified digital output cable produced a slightly sharper picture than the analog PAL RGB output. So, wow, yeah. So apparently you need a modified cable to get a better RGB output that uses the digital AV port. Sick. And uh, that would actually get you decent quality. It wouldn't be component, but it would be close. 
So, I mean, hey, there's that. <laughs> sure you are. All right, I think I'm going to switch over to the Xbox. All right. Test out the Psychonauts a little bit more, because I actually want to get farther into the game and see what uh, some of the worlds look like. Uh, at least captured through, like, I want to see, like, how the, uh... Because a lot of these levels are really bright, so I want to see how the light affects, uh... How, like, the lighting and component is affected, and I want to see if I have to adjust any coloring. Because I don't want to be blind from constant bloom, you know? True. Fair enough. Alright. Alright. So this should... Yeah, there it goes. Beautiful. So you're gonna love this. So since my Xbox is uh, has been hard modded, because uh, that's how I bought it. I found it at like a thrift shop basically, and I bought it for 40 bucks, and it came with like all this cool shit on it. Um, when I don't have a disc inside the tray, it. Uh... Yeah, sorry for the dual image. Wait till it readjusts to a uh, 480p. By the way, guys. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, psychonauts. Yeah, dang, Psychonauts looks legit. <laughs> All right. So. Oh yeah, it looks even better than the other stream. Yep, because we have a uh, full source now. Yeah, look at that. So, this is it. So good. All right. So let's get through Oleander's training really quick. Because I don't really feel like going through Oleander's shit for too long. I want to get to Mia Vodello's place. Because Mia Vodello's level is like the level that I want to see most. But I'm not sure how long it'll take to get there. Just speed run through this? Basically, that's what I'm doing. Like I'm just hauling ass right now. God damn, man. The OG Xbox is seriously a very underrated console. It's good. Well, and especially for what it was capable of, you know? Well, apparently, it came the later, way, so... Yeah. Apparently, by the way, there was also a, a, a Jackass video game for the PS2 that, strangely enough, output in 720p. Why? What? I, yeah. True facts. But Kingdom Hearts... But Kingdom Hearts can't support a four, uh, 480p or uh, 480p output or 16 by 9 resolution. Yeah. Nice. So Jackass gets the full HD treatment, but Kingdom Hearts has to stick with 360p. <laughs> Sick. Right. A plus. And that's part of the reason why I can't stream it with my current component cable because I can't get a progressive scan signal out of it. Oh yeah, it still says I'm playing the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. That's <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to get through this because, yeah. Wait, what game quad? What game was I talking about? Jackass 2. Oh, the Jackass game, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, one of the PS2 uh, Jackass games can support 1080p for some stupid reason. So, if I ever get itchy to play, like, fucking Jackass in 1080p... Oh, oh no, that's never gonna be an itch. Dude, I kind of want to find the game and get it just so I can oh. see how it looks. Just to say you played it in that. Yep. Pretty much. I just want to have it so I can be like, yep. This is a thing. Kingdom Hearts will never get this good unless I play it on a PS3, but you. You look just dandy. <laughs> It's probably a terrible game too. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised. I'd be very surprised. I'd be surprised if it was good. Be like, what? Yeah, later, Dugan. Go fuck yourself. I ain't fucking helping you today, kid. Help yourself. Get through the minefield on your own. Just kidding. When you die in the mind, you die for real. Oh, you know what I realized? I just realized Oleander's mind has like crap tons of areas. 
There's like four or five areas. Yeah. Yeah. This kid though. This kid's my favorite. I just like listening to him talk. <laughs> just endlessly. Cause he never stops. He has a he has like fucking I think forty or fifty individual phrases that are randomly strung together through RNG and he tells an endless story that will not end until you punch the door open. Otherwise he'll just keep telling you about how he took his dog lady for a walk. What? That's amazing. Yep. And it can literally go on for hours and hours, and it's gonna be unique every time. Nice. And I'm gonna interrupt him and send his ass flying out the door, so get the fuck out of my plane. And then he gave her a bone. I'm so proud of you. Good job, kid. Alright. I think I'm gonna finish up this level and then when I'm done I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> Alright. Actually go to bed this time and not stay up for another hour and a half, two hours, and then spontaneously decide to stream at fucking two in the morning because quality tests. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Venick. <laughs> Or you have to punch the signs. Oh yeah. And break them, and it just takes forever because I have no depth perception and the input and like the directional input's really weird and precise. I haven't played this game since it came out. Yep. Should play it again. That's a good one. Time to find a strat. This is strat hunting time. I'll probably be at this for the next like hour and a half to two hours. But I'll find a strat. Got it. Wow, I did really okay that time. I usually suck at that game. Like, I usually absolutely suck at that game. That was fantastic. Okay, that's cool. Bunnies everywhere. Bunnies getting shot up. Yeah, bunnies are definitely getting shot up right now. It's pretty bad. I'm hyped to get a high quality stream. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good, dude. We're gonna hook you up. I promise. All right. I'll hold you to it. It's gonna happen. Until, like, like seriously, I'm gonna make sure that you have like good shit to set you up. Like I'm gonna, like when I send the GV USB, I'm gonna make sure that like you have S video cables for it, and I have plenty of extra like S video cables for a lot of the consoles. Unfortunately, you have all you have one for your Wii already, so you're set on that front. Yeah. And then I have one for the PS2 that you can use because I don't need it anymore now that I got my component cables. So that's pretty good too. Which will be awesome, dude. Neopets will look so good. <laughs> Neopets, the darkest fairy. It's such a good game. It's, it's really glitchy, so it's a good speedrun. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Well, it kind of plays like Zelda, so it's broken. Oh, it's good. That's interesting. <laughs> I know. I was surprised at first too. I was surprised at first too. I was like, no, this is actually you were skeptical. good. You were like, no. And then I was like, no, wait, this is actually amazing. <laughs> I love it when a game does that. Also, Persona 4 will look real good. Oh man, Persona 4. I kind of wish that was one of the games that was on the list of fucking 480p compatible shit. Is it not? Dang. No, it's not. Unfortunately. But it came late enough. Huh? It came late enough. Like, come on. Right? You would think, well, it actually might. Can you go check that list again, actually? Because I don't remember seeing it on there, but I also didn't actively look, so. Let's see.
A plus me. I don't see Persona on this list. Huh? I don't see Persona. Son of a dick. Okay, so Persona's not 480p compatible. Oh. None of the Shin Megami Tensai games are. How fucking garbage. Fucking Atlas. Fucking Atlas. Hey man, Atlas makes some good games. You ever play the, uh... Oh no, that was Axis, not Atlas. Axis makes some good games. You ever play, uh... Virtue's Last Reward or, uh... Nine people, or... Nine persons... I should know this. Nine, nine, nine. Hours, nine. Yeah, nine, nine, nine. Thank you. Uh, I have I played it for a few minutes, but I haven't gotten into it. Oh, I should. It's so good. It's so good. It requires you to get the other endings before you get the real ending, and it's so good because all the other endings actually tie into the action to the other ending, and you think like, I don't know. You'll see. We'll see. It's it's really good. I highly recommend you play it. All right. Like just the the Zero Escape series is fucking phenomenal. Like from a consistency standpoint from uh, just like a gameplay standpoint, from a story standpoint, and more recently in the uh, in the latest one, the Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward for the 3DS and PS Vita, the voice acting was absolutely choice. Nice. No joke. It was like amazing. And I had like the fattest boner for the entire voice cast because wow, they were just really good at what they did. And the person who did uh, Zero the Third, who was like this tiny animatronic rabbit that did nothing but make really shitty puns the entire time. And yet it was menacing and like savagely killed people and then laughed about it. It was just really creepy and amazing. Okay. There's only three games that support 1080p or 1080i. Excuse me. Really? 1080i. There's like three games that support that for PS2 apparently. Dang. Jackass being one of them. What are the other two? It's like Gran Turismo and like Lost Viking. Not Lost Viking, Lost like something else. I don't know. I'll bring up the list again. Uh, of course Gran Turismo would. Like of all the games to have fucking 1080, uh, 1080 compatibility. Gran Turismo 4. Oh uh, yeah, of course it would be fucking. I'm, I'm just saying it would be Gran Turismo. <laughs> it would always be Gran Turismo. Jackass the game. Jackass the movie, the game. Oh, wait, there's a few more. Uh, tourist Trophy? Is this a golfing game? If it's a golfing game, that's going to be fantastic. We should tell Pickles. No. The Real Riding Simulator. Dude, the real one? Yeah. As opposed to the fake riding simulator? Damn, dude, that's heavy. All right, I finally finished Oleander. Hello, hello. Guess dude, this game is anime as hell. It's made by Square, and it actually has 10, 1080i. 